The Belarus government is using migrants to blackmail Europe. That's according to the head of the country's opposition, Svetlana Tiskanovskaya. In an interview in Athens with Euronews Greece, she explained how Belarusian authorities are pressurizing the European borders. Uh, all those groups of people when coming to the borders, they are um, uh, coming with the KGB people, with the Belarusian Amon, so they are followed by people from the system. You know, so this is why it's organized groups. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, of course, a difficult question for Europe as well, what to do with those people, because uh, those migrants are also hostages of the system. They are not guilty that mm -hmm. they, uh, you know, became also victims of this regime. Uh, but, uh, you know, you, you shouldn't allow uh, regime blackmail Europe. With migrants. President Alexander Lukashenko is planning a constitutional referendum seeking to legitimize a redistribution of powers and establish a new governing body called the All Belarus People's Assembly. But the Belarus opposition say they'll not recognize the result. Uh, this re referendum, it's like uh, uh, dust in, into eyes of, uh, of Europe that look, I'm doing something for democratization. Uh, I think that uh, people will be so scared because of violence that maybe nobody will, not, will go to vote for in this referendum. No. Will you recognize the outcome of the referendum? Uh, of, co of course we will not. Earlier in May, she was in Athens taking part in another democracy forum. Two opposition supporters also attended, but on their return journey they were arrested in Minsk after their plane was forced to land in Belarus. That was Roman Protasevich and his girlfriend, Sofia Sabahar. It's still unclear what happened. We are waiting for um, official results of the investigation by ICAO. Uh, and after this, we will make conclusions and uh, continue you know, proceeding this, um, uh, you know, this, this bringing uh, guilty people to court, to justice. Tiskanovskaya has already discussed the possibility of starting international criminal proceedings on this incident with the Greek Minister of Interior.